Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got this GCV overhead cam 190 Honda engine. High performance, easy start. Well, it's not an easy start today or it wouldn't be on this video. It is a Troy built pressure washer, uh, 3000 max PSI, 2.7 max GPM. Uh, and it's got different nozzles. Uh, you can go down to 2600 and uh, the different angles of spray. It's got different things here. Um, like I said in the last video, Ryan bought this over the weekend, a friend of mine. And uh, I said, yeah, let's check it out. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We checked the oil, gas, everything looked good. Hooked it up the water and then the rope would just yank out of your hand now I'm not going to demonstrate that because that hurts like hell but I think I know what it is stick around let's pull the top off here let's see if we can find out the problem okay so first thing I'm gonna do already loosen these to save time I'm going to move this handle out of our way because we're going to be working up on top here. Right here. We're going to pull this off here. What I think it is, I think the shear pin is bad in here. Actually, shear key. So let's go ahead and pull this top off of here. Uh, may have to pull that whole tank and all. So let's get this off the recoil starter. Okay, not sure where that went, but we'll find it here in a second. Let's pull this off. Yeah, what we got to do is we'll have to get in here. So we got to take this. There we go. That'll work. We got to take the flywheel off. Because I think the shear pin is sheared down in here. So let me get a, a socket for this. Let me find that nut I dropped. And uh, we'll pull this uh, we'll pull this flywheel off, see what's going on with that thing. Alright, right, we're gonna take our fan off. Usually that's what causes these things to do that. I'm gonna put this on here. About even there with some threads. And give it a little whack. There it is. That's all there is to that. But what I'm seeing here looks like this might be okay. Well, maybe not. Uh, get a screwdriver here. But we'll see. It doesn't look that bad. Usually, that's what will cause them to pull back out of your hand like that. I mean, I see a little, I don't know if anywhere there's a little line there, but usually that's what causes that. Because it puts it out of time. It may very well have jump time. If 
if it jumped time, then there's another issue. Be in the timing gears. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back on here. I turned that key around. I don't think that's the issue. I think it may have other problems. Now, of course, you know, he said the old guy told him, got it off of an old guy. He said it run fine when he parked it. And that's always, you know, the story. Let me see, is that? There we go. These back on here. I did find the other nut. It was just laying right down there by the tire. But I don't think that took care of the problem. Because all I did was spin that around. Let me back you up. I'll pull it and see. But I don't think that usually that's what it is. Nine times out of ten. But like I said, it could have jumped time down on the timing gears. Yeah, see? It makes that. Nah. See, it shouldn't do that. All right, so that was an issue. Well, looks like we're probably going to be tearing this one down. But anyway, if you guys have that problem, check that first. In this case, that wasn't it. So we'll see what he wants to do with it. He may want to take the engine off the other one and put on here. But yeah, I think that is probably what happened it probably jumped time so yeah because when it would fire I mean it would yank this right out of your hand all right let me think about this okay guys so what I think is wrong with this one I think it jumped time down in the timing gears um, the that pin i got to look and i think it's a new pin i think someone tried that or that key sheer key i think someone tried that trick before changed the key and it still wouldn't do it so i think it's down in the gears so he's coming by tomorrow so i'll see if he wants to get into that or just swap motors um whatever he wants to do my guess is that's what it is because it's definitely out of time but you know I mean <laughs> it can't never be the easy thing right <laughs> anyway Shea Bear hopefully that helped you check that first because 9 times out of 10 that's what it is in the 10th time it's timing gears <laughs> uh. okay guys so it's like 5 days later 6 days later I want to pull this valve cover off see what we got going on inside of here see if we can see anything in there I'm not positive I think this has a timing belt on it and now I gotta use my ratchet on this, the bottom too.
because this cover doesn't come off it's riveted on which I think is pretty stupid because you have to adjust these things every so often and adjust your valves try to keep this up here keep the oil I know it's going to drain down there I know some's going to come out anyway some oil Figures. Let me get a screwdriver. You can tell that's never been off. Let me mess around with this. Looks like it's going to get bent up, but I can straighten it. But it's really on there. Hang tight. All right, I got it started. Yeah, it's got a timing belt. A little timing belt there. It was pretty loose. What I was also wanting to do, I got this plug loose already. I was wanting to see if I could see the, uh, it's got a decompression valve on it. I have seen these break right here before. And that'll cause you some issues. Alright, I want to get something to stick down. Well, I think I can see that. I can see the piston, I think. Let me get something to stick it down in here so I know when the piston's up on top dead center. Okay guys, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up. This rocker arm is straight across here and straight across there. Now this one looks like it's bent right here down there on the bottom. I'm not positive, but it sure looks like it. This. I can get it on camera, but it sure looks like that's bent there. This is straight across, and this is bent. So I'm going to pull this rocker arm off and see what the deal is there. Okay, guys, so you see that? See that crack there? I do believe that's the problem. This is what I was just saying a minute ago. It's it's rare, but I have seen it happen. There it is. Now what I have done before is I've straightened these the best I could, and I have tack welded them. I don't like to do that, especially seeing how there's another crack right here. I don't like doing that. So I think. Because he said, I told him, I said, you know, I'd really like to pull that valve cover off and check a couple things. He said, I'll leave it here for you for a couple days. And he said, if anything, you know, he's got parts, which is true. I mean, you know, he's got a, you know, good carburetor, good coil, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, the pump, <laughs> you know, that, that he can, that he could use for parts for his other one. Because they're the same engine. But that is the problem right there. Monkey said, well, you know, can you weld it enough to see if that was it? All right, well, you know, when you see that, that is it. So, 
I mean, I could, but I don't want to take a chance of it breaking more and, you know, causing more damage. But that is the problem right there. See how it's bent? So that means that valve's not going to open when it's supposed to. Okay. Right there. That's the issue. So, I'm sure he'll probably want to get one of these and, you know, fix it. Which, you know, that's what I would do. If it was me, I'd... Uh, and it's usually this one. This is the exhaust side here. It's usually the exhaust. I don't think I've ever seen a, the intake one break. Now, I'm not saying it can or it doesn't. I'm just saying... I've seen this happen like three times. This is like the third time in my life, you know, since these engines been out, you know, that I've seen this happen. Uh, usually like the, the timing belt will break or timing gear or the sheer, sheer, the, the sheer key, something like that. But every once in a while you get one of these and sure enough, there it is. There's the problem. So I'm gonna get a hold him and see what he wants to do with it. But that's gonna be the end of this video. I actually ended this video the other day. So, but I was like, no, I, I, I can't leave you guys like that. Let's at least find out what it is. So I'm gonna end this video here. Hopefully, that's a good place for it. I had a gnat on me. Yeah, monkeys, yeah. monkeys over there <laughs> kind of chuckling at me. Uh, so, but I'm sure he'll want to fix it. I'll give this to him time to go get one. And then we'll, because I, I really think, you know, it's worth putting one of these in. Especially since he gave $100 for it. But I think, uh, yeah, this is the way to go. Um, so if he gets another one, there'll be a part two of this. Um, I got that, I got that engine around back, but it's horizontal shaft. This is vertical, so it won't be the same. Um, I don't think, no, this is a 190. I don't think they'd be the same or I'd put mine in there for him. But yeah, there's the problem right there. Huh. All right, guys, so with that being said, Monk, she's over there selling again. Say bye, Monk. <laughs> and I am Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Uh, I will let you know either way what he decided to do. If he decides to get one, then we'll just, there'll be a part two. And if he decides not to, I'll let you know in an update video on this thing uh, that he decided not to. But I would. I mean, you know, that right there, you don't have to pull the engine clear down. That's what I would do if, if I was him. So, all right, guys. Again. We'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more awesome videos like this. And um, y'all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>